So my advice would be actually go to all the sessions you're interested in and you are not interested in and talk to people, just network. Don't, don't just stand. Just during the coffee breaks, just go talk to people, introduce yourself. You never know what opportunities will come. Have a look at the schedule ahead of time. Pick out the talks that you really want to go to and get there early. It's a nice way to meet people. Um, definitely, if you want some one-on-one -on -one time with maybe potential mentors or people you want to work with in the future, go to the poster session. Um, it's harder to meet people if you go to the talks because they tend to be surrounded by other people. So if you really want that one-on-one -on -one connection, poster session is a great time for that. Well, I think since this is a very large conference uh, with multiple sessions going on at the same time and multiple uh, subjects, it's really important to know, to, to be focused on what will benefit you most uh, when you uh, look at the schedule, try to, to, to minimize the amount of data that you take in, especially for first-time attendees. As a new PhD holder, I would appreciate if you look out there on the internet for opportunities to showcase your work. I was uh, going through different uh, website um, advertisements and I saw call for abstracts to come for this uh, conference and I had to check out what is really ASHG and I was able to get more information. I put in my application and I'm lucky to get the awards. That brought me here to showcase my work. Well, ASHG is a really big conference, so you don't want to get overwhelmed by you know, running from talk to talk or poster to poster. I think this is a conference where maybe you just want to try to learn one or two things, or maybe one or two themes, and then sort of think about them deeply, and then uh, you know, and that will take, take, you'll take that with you when you leave the conference, and then that will inform your next year of research.